Hello and welcome to another edition of the tip of the day here at doitwithipad.com. I'm Robbie Wilson. Today's tip will help you if you have several apps and you want to clean up your desktop. For example, let's say you have more than one music app and they're scattered all over several pages on your desktop, making them difficult to find. You can actually combine those into folders and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. For my example, I've been doing a comparison of several types of grocery shopping apps. So as you can see, I have several of them on my desktop. If I would like to put all these into a single folder location, I just tap and hold one of them like this. From there, you can see all the icons start to wiggle, signifying uh, they're able to be moved. Then I tap and hold one app and drag it, drag it on top of another and release. It then will combine the apps into a single folder and create a name for it. In this case, it created a folder called Lifestyle. Now, if you don't like the name, uh, you can change it to whatever you want by tapping the folder name and field. This brings up the keyboard, and I can type in whatever name I would like. In this case, I'm going to call it Grocery Apps and uh, tap Done. Now my apps are still wiggling so I tap the home button which completes the process. I then tap the home button again to close the folder and it shows up on my desktop. Now you can see two tiny icons signifying that there are two apps in the grocery apps folder. When I tap on the folder it opens and both apps are displayed. I then tap on my desired app and it opens uh, as usual. Now I'll show you how to undo this operation. First I'm going to tap the home button to close my Grocery IQ app. Next I'm going to tap the home button to close the Grocery Apps folder and get back to my desktop. Next I'll tap and hold the Grocery Apps folder like this My apps start to wiggle, signifying they're able to be moved. I tap on the Grocery Apps folder and it opens. Then I drag one of the apps out onto the desktop. I then open up the Grocery Apps folder a second time and drag the second app onto the desktop. At this point, the Grocery Apps folder that I created is automatically deleted. Then, I just push the home button and I'm back to where I started. Hopefully this tip helps you save space on your iPad desktop and makes your apps easier to find in the process. For more tips of the day, app, and accessory reviews for your iPad, visit doitwithipad.com. Thank you.